Let's talk about what these numbers on the go no gauge actually mean. I wanted to talk a little bit about the finer details of tapping. One document that I've come across that's really good is from Newman Tools. It's called Everything You Wanted to Know About Taps But Were Afraid to Ask. There are three established classes of thread designated in the unified series by adding A for screws and B for nuts, or other internal threads. The most common type is 2B, with 3 being the tightest tolerance. Class 3B thread means a 3A screw and a 3B nut or threaded hole for applications where tolerance limits are close. When you're talking about class limits here, G designates a ground thread and H means that pitch diameter is on the high side of basic. So here's a good diagram. The pitch diameter of a thread is basically the halfway point in the V shape. And this number is a recognized standard. But what you have are the different classes. So you see H1, it's just a little bit bigger and progressively so. And you can actually be undersized as well. Where does this come into play? Well, if you're going to be doing things like plating a thread, you might need to open it up a little bit to accommodate for that extra added thickness. There's another, this is a very good illustration here showing pitch diameter. So you've got your middle point and then it's not much. The difference between 0.2415 and 0.221 will feel like a lot of slop if you're using a go no gauge or some way that you're testing the fitment by feel. But it's really a numbers game where even five tenths, one thousandths gives a totally different feel in how the gauge will engage with the thread. So this is just something that if you haven't ever really looked into this, the more you understand about how tapping works and why you're getting the results you are, it's very beneficial. If you're going to be doing this long term, I highly, highly recommend that you check it out.